was this a setup? I, I'm starting to um, wonder myself. Um, I, I want to say, was this a setup on Nature Boy uh, revenge for what he had did to Natiri and Solar, knowing that publicly he had announced that Natiri's only motive for coming back to Carbonation, this said out of Nature Boy's mouth, was to be with Solar. But if she was to come back, it was under ultimatums, and that was to be one of his wives. Even though we know that Nature Boy does not do poly. He's just being doggish. But was this a setup? Is this what started to drive Nature Boy over the edge? Drive him to go crazy at this point for the SWAT to have to come in and rescue these people? Um, I question this because Nature Boy was battling behind closed doors from what it seems with these members um musa and solar in particular because he started to see them low-key drift away from him he noticed this prior to solar and musa as people want to call it backstabbing nature boy um denouncing him and all of the above disowning nature boy now is this a setup that we're seeing right now to keep nature boy in jail i want to know let's put it in the comment section we talk about the foolishness let's talk about it or is this solar's way of saying we're fair and square nature boy we might never cross paths again but i do have feelings for terry you knew that we can all win in this uh game here because I can now express publicly my feelings for Natiri. She can do the same. And then it'll have some of those charges that are going to be the ones that can ultimately hold him for some, some years. They can be dropped prior to going to court and having a trial. The rest of the charges, if these uh, other allegations are dropped, because of what the prosecutor and the judge is looking at the evidence that's presented on a daily basis, um, seeing the behavior of what Nateri is doing, the victim, uh, her not appearing to be a victim at this point, and going public with one of the ex-carbonation members that was on the team of Nature Boys at once upon a time, who for a short second was trying to push the three and say that Natiri was making all these false allegations up on Nature Boy. That could really hurt the case. Even though they don't need Natiri, this looks like an ish show. And courts don't have time to do this. It's almost like a woman going through a DV with her boyfriend that she knows is cheating on him, cheating on her. He beats her up. Or well, he doesn't beat her up, but she calls the police and said he does. He did beat her up so she could send him to jail. That's how the courts may be looking at this. This is a, a triangle relationship. A woman who's been passed back and forth between two men. She's obviously got some uh, mental issues, uh, some family issues, some generational curses. And she doesn't uh, know what she wants in her life we see this happen all the time this looks more like a domestic situation than uh anything else and especially not accusing someone of the r word so this could potentially mess up the case and i say this and a lot of people say it doesn't yeah we don't need nateri but we did need nateri to go on with her life and not be in a relationship so publicly it's her problem if she's or her prerogative if she's in a relationship with solar behind the scenes but while this case is going on while they're trying to hold nature boy down because allegedly he's a threat to the public you should have done this behind closed doors because you hurt the case this way. Because the juries have to look at all 
of the possible information from the past and the present time. This is going to be very confusing. And people are people at the end of the day. And so are these juries. So when they see this, they're going to look at it as kind of shady. It looks like in the eyes of the law that Solar is tampering with things. He's intimidating a witness. It still could be looked at looked at as intimidating a witness. Um, but we also can look at the other side of the coin, which is playing the devil advocate. And so is Natiri. She's uh, hoping, because she doesn't know the law, obviously, that she's also tampering with this case so it can go away. I'm quite sure now that Natiri has gotten what she wants, which is Solar, and it's been all along, I'm quite sure she doesn't want to see Nature Boy in jail for these charges. I think that Natiri also can live with the revenge P.O.R. that he had on Twitter. I don't think that that bothers uh, Natiri as much as we think that it should because their minds, people that have those deep-seated issues like, in my opinion, I feel as though Natiri and a lot of these ex carbonation members have just to even go over the carbonation and deal with um, being with Nature Boy and being mistreated the way they were and some of them there for years and some of them, like Natiri, coming back and forth sometimes people identify this as love because they don't know what love feels like they don't know that love is not supposed to hurt love is not supposed to be character assassinating someone but women sometimes identify these behaviors in men and same goes for women doing it to men men identify these behaviors as she loves she's sweating me she's on my job and they dismiss it I think that Natiri is over it. I feel mainly bad for the people, channel holders, that really got too invested. I start to side eye them. Why you say? Because of the simple fact that I honestly think that there's some issues also in the community of people who are covering this commentary that it was a personal vendetta that they had against Nature Boy as well. And they caught horse and they showed Natiri what to do in order for this to stick. Now Natiri is on the other side of the fence. Regardless if Solar is not on good terms with Nature Boy, he's still from that circle. That is who he associates with. Like-minded people think alike. He still thinks like-minded. One mind, one self. And even with all the support and help that um, Natiri, I'm about to call her Nature Boy, she's like one, Natiri got from the community and also from, you know, people that are just as popular now as Natiri, channel holders. You put their reputation on the line just to get what you wanted for the moment. And then when that moment was over, Natiri hopped on the next best thing. She's one of those type of people. You can do everything and anything for her. But she's already got her mindset that she's going to do something. Whether it makes people mad, whether she um, backstabs people. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, disappoints people because at the end of the day, it is her life. So she can't really disappoint us because we have to accept whatever Natiri wants to do for her life. We can't di dictate policy on Natiri's life. But when you uh, prom make a promise to yourself and you, you, you use these people to confide in and they believe in you and now you're with the enemy, the op, and you kind of sort of forget about the support that you had, you know, you kind of cherry pick who you want to um, have around you that are uh, was supporting you the whole time and then the ones that you know that are likely going to clap back at you because you let them down and they believed in you, you throw to the wayside. That's why we have to be careful 
how involved we get in these situations with these members because they've been hanging around the barbershop too long. They definitely got a haircut. A lot of the behaviors of even Solar I see from Nature Boy. Him being around Nature Boy for so long, he's manipulative. And so is Natiri. And they may have came that way prior to even knowing who Nature Boy was and went to his camp because they didn't want to work, be a uh, productive citizen of society and work a, a, a real job nine to five. They wanted to beg, just like Nature Boy does. Beg, borrow, and steal. But they got better at what they did early on. I don't know if that's a, a good thing or a, a bad thing. Um, but I do know that they are appearing to try to be the next uh, Nature Boy and Velvet. Um, they're trying to get their audience to a, a level of power so that they're able to sell their products. And whatever they put up, they can be able to travel the world and duplicate the same processes that Nature Boy um, did in order for him to live the way he wanted to live without having to work and get the money of others to support his way of life. And I think that that's what they're trying to do as well. Um, but we have to see how this plays out. Now, do I think that uh, something could twist in all of this? I think that if that does happen, there's a possibility. Anything's possible. I would see Solar twisting on Natiri before Natiri twists on him. I think right now, Natiri is not going to uh, leave this situation. As hard as she fought to be with Solar, she's going to see where it takes her. And she has a, uh, lost a lot. Quiet is kept. She's smiling, but behind those smiles, she's thinking about the decision that she just made and I know she's probably saying was that a smart one because if this doesn't work out with her and Solar you're going to be just like Velvet you're going to have to be building your trust again and you don't have that finesse I don't think like Velvet did in order to build her trust as many times as Velvet did and show her supporters that she made a mistake doing this with Solar didn't work and I don't, I don't know if people are going to uh, accept the apology this next time around. If there is a next time, she might go on and flourish, her and Solar. And they might even have a child together, which won't be any interference because of Nature Boy. 